Over the past five months, I have asked an independent review committee to look into the command climate at Fort Hood, Texas. While the review focused on Fort Hood, there are Army-wide implications. Today, I am sharing the actions we are taking in response to that review and the observations of the Chief, the Sergeant Major of the Army, and I over the last five months. Leaders are responsible for the success or failure of their units, the welfare of their soldiers, and the culture of their organizations. On December 8, I relieved or suspended 14 leaders in the chain of command at Fort Hood, Texas, for failing to provide our soldiers the leadership they deserve and a climate in which they could thrive. We have formed a People's First Task Force that will identify bold initiatives to address our most significant challenges. We have also initiated a change to the current Army policy for how we classify missing soldiers. These actions are consistent with the decision to elevate people to our number one priority and our efforts to provide increased time for our leaders to train and care for their soldiers. There is no greater responsibility than caring for our nation's sons and daughters. We must have service members at every level leading with conviction and moral authority. We have a great deal of work ahead of us. This is only the first step to addressing and fixing these issues. I believe in this institution with every ounce of my being because of the extraordinary people who serve in it. We must live up to the people's trust every day. I am confident in our leaders and our ability to refocus our efforts on caring for our people and winning our nation's wars.